Are you wondering if Total PC Cleaner from Microsoft Store is actually worth using? In this video, I'll show you what this free tool can really do. And it claims to clean junk, free up space, scan for virus, and delete and define delete duplicate files. But can it really compete with popular tools like CCleaner or it's just a basic app with limited use? I'll walk you through how to install it and what feature it offers. So here you just need to search cleaner or just type total PC cleaner like this and you will find 4.5 rating 3000 plus ratings are there and you just need to click on get and it will take you a while to download and install. Once you do that and once you click on open, it should look like this. And here we have some options, junk files, large files, duplicate, virus scan. And uh, I think it's good. We can select the location where exactly we want to scan, right? So you can particularly select the folder or you can scan the whole computer. That is good. So we will go with the first one, which is junk files. We just need to click on scan and it started, you know, checking the browser cache, the junk from the computer. And you can see it says system cache is there. Some downloads are there, though it doesn't have the check mark. It is up to you whether you want to clean the download. So overall, it looks good. If we want the basic cleaning without any, you know, uh, installing any shady app from any other source, it is really good because it is from the Microsoft Store. All right. And for basic cleaning, it seems promising. So I just have to click on clean and I'll click on OK. And it has started cleaning. And also the best part is it doesn't take much time to scan for the junk. I have seen many apps taking too much time to get into registries because it does the they does uh, do the deep cleaning and it does the basic cleaning so still it is good i would say when it comes to free when it comes to safety you can get it from microsoft store and you can scan it though you can upgrade it it is up to you however if you want to use the free ones it is good and same with the large files the moment we click on large and scan it will give us the list of those large files and if you want to free up space this can also be helpful now the catch is you can use this software or you can use the storage sense which i used to make i have made many tutorials on storage sense so that is also good if you do not want any app to clean your computer you want to manually do it but yes, if you want systematic, basic cleanup, this is good. So do let me know in the comment section, what is the way you clean your computer? And do you like this software or not? Do you like this tool or not? I'll be glad if you do so. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.